start with the reading Pisces. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. We're going to look into your recent past, current energy and immediate future. For cross watchers, keep in mind that energies go both ways. So please take the messages as they best resonate with you. All right, let's look into your recent past, current energies, and immediate future. Energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. And with this card, you see how you are called to make a choice here. This might be not an easy decision to make because you know that once you commit to one, you will have to let go all of the other ones. But this being the general energy for the reading is really telling you that it's time and that you are set in a place and an environment right now which will help you making the best choice for yourself. So let's see what this is about and how it's going to connect with the rest of the reading. First of all, your recent past. So what I see here with the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles is clearly you trying to understand if it's time to let go of the past, of something that maybe didn't work out for you and completely invest yourself into the future. Now, this is not an easy thing to do, right? Because with the Six of Cups, you always have that beautiful memory or memories that always bring you so much joy, so much love and, and you know, overall happiness. But at the same time, you know that that joy doesn't last a long time. By the time you realize that that is not around you and that it's just in the past, you realize that you're maybe cheating yourself, that you are forcing yourself to be there in the past, whereas instead you should be focusing on the present and see where you can go in the future. So it's absolutely normal. Don't be hard on yourself at times to just uh, fall in those moments where you just think about the past. But at the same time, uh, see what you can bring with you on, on your journey that might help you in the future, but don't get stuck there. I see you right here in between those two forces, in between those two possibilities. And one of them is the past. The other one is instead right now. What can I do right now? What should I do to be happy and to find that love again? to find the happiness of it all again. It's clearly important to you and it should be. And so I do see you trying to understand what to do next. This is going to be a very important choice. Definitely for at least the rest of the year can impact what's going to happen this year to you, for you, or also for some of you for the years to come. There is something coming up here, which might be an opportunity. It might be something that will tell you, hey, you should go this way instead of that way. And that will really put you on your path to happiness, which is at the end of the day where we all want to be. So let's see what we have in the current energies. All right. Okay. So expect in your present to get even more clear about the options that you have and the choice that you will have to make. Right now we have the King of Swords and the King of Wands. I really do see you here Pisces trying to decide what to do, trying to know, to understand if you have to listen to your head or to your heart. Should I go with what my passion says or should I go with uh, what's most logical, you know? And it's clearly here not an easy thing to do because we, we value emotions. Those are something that is really important to everyone. And knowing that you want to just put them in the past and never revisit them again, it's just scary. Because those times are part of who you are and it's not as easy as just flipping a switch. And so 
what you're doing here is understanding what to do and what consequences you might experience if you go one way or the other. Right now, we could be looking at two different people or we could just be looking at uh, you completely letting go of the past and make room for the future. But it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. The more you think about it, uh, the more you feel the temptation to just go with what feels good today. This is uh, immediate validation, is feeling good right now and not caring about the consequences of our decision. Now, what I see and what I'm sensing here is that you feel still attached to the past because the past is still attached to you. There is still here someone who, with their energies, and maybe for some of you with their actions as well, keeps you close to them because they don't feel that this is over yet. So we will look into how uh, the other person, the other side of this situation feels towards you and their intentions. But what we see and the most important thing now and always is focusing on you, Pisces. I know that it's hard to let go of something that was once so beautiful, so important, but you have to live in the present and you have to make yourself happy because you always have that option. You just really need to invest in yourself. And something is coming up here which is really going to bring you clarity. So let's see what we have in the immediate future and then we will dive deeper into these messages because there's a lot more happening here that we need to discuss. All right. Okay. So in the immediate future, we have Page of Swords and Death, Rebirth. What we're seeing here is clearly a message. A message that is going to come in and it's going to bring you absolute clarity on what to do next. And I'm, like, I'm excited to see this because... Regardless of what you decide to do here, and we will see what that is going to be, you deserve to not feel stuck into a place where you're not progressing, where you're not uh, going anywhere. You need to have that for yourself, you know? Even if you're going to the right direction, at least you're trying. But feeling stuck in between two forces, that will never make you happy. And so right here with the Page of Swords, I see, first of all, that person from the past as well. This person, the other side of the situation, whatever that is, which is still connected to you. They are watching over you. And whether you know this or not, their energy con communicates to yours, with yours. And you feel that connection because it's still there. You're not imagining this. You're not just thinking that it's there when it's not. You feel it because it is, still, it is still there. And with the Page of Swords, you are about to receive news about this person or about the situation overall. There is something coming in here which could come under the form of gossip, maybe. Doesn't matter. This is information coming towards you which will allow you to understand what to do next. And this is going to be very important to look into uh, because we will be able to understand what this is and maybe which direction is going to point you to. Overall, we see how this is going to change your situation entirely. We finally see that death card. In this case, we really wanted to see it because you needed a change. You needed to focus on yourself and to start experiencing things around you which could make you happy again. And happiness is never something that we should postpone. And right here, I think that you're realizing that. And you're making the choice needed here to bring a change and to transform who you are and who you are becoming as well. Right here, we see that expansion. We see you letting go of something within you and making room for something new, which is always a good thing. 
I love to see this because this is talking about new life events, which are definitely attached to this page of swords. You didn't know what choice to make. Now you are making it in the immediate future because of this information coming toward you. Balance. I like to see this justice card. Hmm. There might be some karma or something connected to that. So let's look into this page of swords. Let's see what that information is going to be. For now, suffice it to say that uh, you're going to receive what you need in order to make this decision. And that will bring you to happiness. It will bring you to a very important transformation that you were waiting for. Now, let's focus on the page of swords. Let's see what that message is going to be about. Let's see what that energy will let you know and how it's going to change your overall direction. I want to see how this situation is going to evolve in the near and distant future as well. I'll be continuing the reading in the extended video link below in the description box. Follow me there if you want to dive deeper into the messages. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Pisces. We see here a situation that is finally going to become clear to you. You know, from what I see here, you have spent way too much time trying to understand what to do, understand what to do next, what move to make. And eventually maybe weeks, months or years have passed and that is not acceptable. You need to find happiness to do whatever it makes you feel good today. You cannot postpone happiness. And right now, things are changing. Things are finally changing for the best. And we're seeing you embarking on a new journey because of some information coming towards you, a message. Maybe you're not expecting, but that will help you understanding which direction to go to. King of Swords, King of Wands, should I listen to my heart or should I just go with what's right, with what makes sense? So let's immediately focus on this page of swords and see what this is going to be about. We got justice and the high priestess as well. We start seeing into what this message will bring to you. Hmm. All right. So, all right. It's clear here what this person wants to tell you. 